Hello boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com as well as the Real Illusion Forums. <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, recovering from my surgery, so I haven't done any tutorials. And this one is actually for uh, a friend I'm helping out uh, try to get her, um, her animations together. But hopefully it'll help other people as well. And if not, it, it may just give you some insight into workflows and how to do some things. Very, very basic stuff here. So... Uh, her basic problem, she, she wants to have a crowd of people and she wants to have uh, them have individual kind of standing motions as they're standing there. And of course, with my tools, I would use Anima, but not everybody owns that. It's a few hundred bucks and that's a lot more money if you don't want to spend it for the crowds. And if, you, if your crowds are modest in size, if you're you know, only going to have 20 or 30 people, let's say, uh, you can certainly do it in iClone without any other outside tools. If you're if you're talking about hundreds of people, Anima is probably the only way to go, and I've showed you a number of tutorials on that. Uh, but anyway, so let's talk about this. So, what what her problems are, I think, are uh, just dealing with basic motions. And so, uh, what I did was I downloaded from uh, Mixamo. Let's see if I can go to the Mixamo site here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go to Mixamo. This is a, a nice site for basic motions. If I were doing this myself, uh, and her actual thing, I would just go put on my motion capture suit and capture a number of motions and slice them up. But not everybody has a motion capture suit. So Mixamo is good. So what I did in here is I just typed in the word idle since we were looking for idle motions. And then I just downloaded uh, a lot of these idle motions. So not all of them, but like... Here's a looking around one. This is not necessarily too great to use, but it's but it's different, you know, different. So I have a, a lot of different idle motions. So I, I think I got 10 or 20 of these things. And then, so then we go to Exchange. It's real easy. Exchange works really well to uh, work with the Mixamo. So if I go to like this, um, the dwarf idle, even though it says dwarf, it actually works well, I think with almost any people, and you just let it automatically convert in 3D Exchange, assuming that you have uh, the 3D Exchange, uh, uh, latest version of 3D Exchange 7, and this will automatically convert this to uh, the right the right motion. So then you just load that in, and there it is. So now we've got this kind of, <laughs> this kind of guy looking at his fingernails or something, I guess. It's a sort of an idle motion. So then once you've got it, you go up here to export it, and we're just going to export it without the geometry. We don't want the geometry. We just want the animation. That's all. Just leave that alone and export that. And, and that's all we do there. So now once we've got it exported, now we're in uh, iClone. And I'm, I'm going to get rid of these animations for these guys. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave these animations here. I'm going to bring another character in. We'll bring another person in over here. So this person's going to sit here, you know, here. And what we want to do is have these, these people, and you notice I've already applied some animation to these people, so they're moving around in kind of a random way. So we want, we want this guy to be kind of random, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the timeline, and I always like to uh, uh, have the timeline up on, on my screen. I have a dual monitor, so I have... Uh, you can't see what's going on on my other monitor, but, but I have the timeline, and I'm going to drag over that new animation that I just created and, and drop it right on this guy. And so now this animation is in here, okay? So what we're going to do is build up animations for the length of this. And we can't have him looking for his fingernails the whole time. So what I'm going to do at the end of the fingernail animation is I'm going to drop in another animation, one of those other ones that I uh, that I dropped in already on those other characters. And these are just the Mixamal animations that I brought in. And to, to vary, the, first of all, we have to overlap the, the transition. That's the transition between one animation and the other, so it blends across. So that's where we, we pull that transition across. And then the other thing we want, want to do with the speed selected, notice we've got two things. we got speed and we have loop. With speed selected, we can adjust the speed of that animation. We can make it slower or faster. And so by doing that, it kind of varies the, uh, the animation so they, don't, they won't all look the same. So when the people are all moving together, they won't be moving in concert together. So, so now we have, we have these different animations. So that's basically what we're going to do is we build up with this group of animations to have people, uh, to people look like a crowd. So that's, that's essentially all there is to it. It isn't really complicated. It's not rocket science. You just drop these animations on the timeline. And, uh, and, and we'll try. We'll do one more just so you can see how this works. Using I only have those three animations, so I haven't I haven't created anything more than just those three. But I did download from Mixamo. I don't know, like 15 of them. They're all free, so I downloaded 15 
you could create an unlimited number of animations. But I'm just using those three. We can get enough variation here. So I'm going to drag over this breathing one to this first one. And that's the same one this guy has. Notice the arms are the same. Um, but I'm going to adjust, again, the speed of this. So I can adjust the speed and make it a lot faster or slower by dragging it in and out. This one I'm going to drag out. Actually, I think I'm going to drag out really long here. I'm going to, first, I'm going to break this here. Let's break this here. Break it here. And then we'll get rid of this section of it. And then I'm going to drag out this one. So now we've got this very long section of this guy moving um, here. So you can see he's kind of swaying. Notice how he's kind of, but see, he's going off. So he's not in unison with this guy here. So that's that's how you can break it up and make and make things different uh, that way. The other thing you can do, of course, is you can also modify the actual motion itself. So if you go to the edit the motion layer, and remember, if you edit the motion layer, you want to edit it uh, wherever you're editing it. From that point onward, the motion stays edited. So uh, so now that I have this guy edited, I can I can go to maybe uh, have him lean lean forward a little bit. Actually, I'll have him lean to one side. There we go. Bends his leg a little bit like that. So now as he bends his leg through there, notice how he keeps he keeps that motion. So that's adjusted that motion separately. And you could uh, you could do the same thing on his arm. You could have his, his arm come in, you know, a little bit downward, maybe uh, you know, up up here. I don't I don't know what kind of arm motions you want to have here. Let me go to the elbow here and bring his arm over. So maybe he's got his arm in front like that. So now so now he's, you've, you've modified that motion. So if you, you can do that for all of them, you can change it. You might want to have his head look, you know, this guy's head look down or something like that. So by doing that, you know, over, you know, however many you have, 20 or 30, you can get a lot of different variations for, uh, for things. So he's not acting in unison with this guy. And by editing the individual motions, you've, you've got some, uh, some sort of, uh, he'll, he'll turn his head down in a moment because we just, there we go. So he turned his head down. So, so that's a way of getting a, a little bit of variety for a lot of individual motions. The other thing she was asking about is where the expressions are. So again, we're editing that character. So we're going to go into face puppet or face key. Key is where you actually create the expression. So we can make this guy happy. You can see him, he's happy now up there. Um, you put in different expressions. You can also in, uh, individualize the, uh, the things here. So starting there so maybe we'll go off and make him uh, fearful here to begin with so now he's fearful and then and then he gets happy so that sort of thing so you can so that's where you get the the keys for that and then you can modify the individual muscle groups and all kinds of stuff there's all so that's that's where you would do that is in the face key face puppeting is actually doing it in real time which i never do but uh but again so so that's big. hopefully that helps to, to get a crowd of, of motions. I, like I say, I would do it with motion capture and split up those motions. But using the Mixamo motions, you can get a lot of variety here. Uh, I was able to download, you know, 15, 20 of them that will all work. And then just by combining them and putting them in, uh, you can get a lot of different, different crowds. So hopefully that helps, boys and girls, and we'll see you on the forums.